Have you ever been forced to leave your home because of forces you can't control? Have you had to say goodbye to your spouse and leave the country with your kids for their safety? This is what many people are going through right now in Ukraine. One refugee is now living here in Mississippi with her daughters, but her husband can't leave his home country because of martial law. In this WTVA special, we get to hear the story of Regina Kirilova, a missionary who's lived in Ukraine for most of her life, who's now praying for the safety of her husband and the well-being of her home. My husband bought us a uh, one-way ticket, so um, we don't know when we will be able to return to Odessa. Regina Kirileva and her two daughters are adapting to a new life in America and a new temporary home. She and her parents, Ray and Pam Trantam, are missionaries who decided to move to Odessa, Ukraine 27 years ago. I realized this was the greatest opportunity in my lifetime. This was the kind of thing that I wanted to, to work in. Their mission was to work with the first Protestant Bible College in the former Soviet Union. They teach in the Russian-speaking Ukrainian Bible College. They train local people to do the mission work in their own areas. Our mission is to introduce Jesus Christ to uh, children and families of Ukraine. They do this through sports, a women's clinic, and more. But since the fighting started, they have a new mission. Their number one goal right now is helping to raise support for the Ukrainians they've worked with to help them stay safe. They're paying for the transportation for individuals who plan to evacuate, including gas. For those who shelter in place, they're paying for food and resources so they can do that. They said many people don't have the money to stock up on food. Pam and Ray came back to America right before Christmas, so they did not see any fighting, but they did regularly see troop movement. But their daughter was there when it started. Kitty Lava is an OBGYN at the women's clinic. She and her Ukrainian husband, Sasha, have two daughters. Because Sasha is of military age, he can't leave the country right now. He hasn't been drafted, but none of the men are allowed to leave while Ukraine is under martial law. Ray said that there are no flights in or out of Ukraine. A week before the conflict started, Kitty Lava said that her husband was afraid for their family's safety. She took her daughters and drove 10 hours for western Ukraine. Exactly one week later, the fighting started on many major cities. The place that we were staying in western Ukraine was located beside a, um, an airport that was not uh, actively being used. And so um, we woke up on Saturday morning uh, very early to the airport being bombed. At that time, the lines to evacuate the country, especially in the cars, were very, very long and waits could be um, up between 24 to 48 hours. They decided the best option was to evacuate at the Romanian border. A friend took us to, to the Romanian border and uh, the line was over six miles long uh, to uh, get to the border. So we stopped our car and left it on the side of the road and walked with my two daughters um, six miles to the Romanian border. She said they stood at the border for hours in freezing temperatures. When they got across, they had friends waiting for them who took them into their home. They later caught their flight to the United States. Many, many people were saying goodbye to their husbands and fathers there at the, uh, at the border, and they were walking into the unknown. They had no idea what they were walking into. Her husband, Sasha, constantly hears the air raid sirens. He sent Regina this picture recently. It's a picture of tank barriers on the main road two blocks from their house. She said she gets to talk to him over the phone often. He said there have been several explosions, including an explosion of a military base right outside of the city. He's been able to stay in the basement of their home. In the meantime, Regina's staying with her sister and enrolling her daughters in school. Her husband says they'll stay in America until at least fall. It has made me feel a little guilty that I can go to sleep and not, you know, and not hear um, the sirens or the uh, um, artillery fire. But um, you know, I know that first priority was to get um, kids out and safe. And because we are out and safe. My husband can volunteer and help uh, supply families and troops there in Odessa. In Corinth, Bronson Woodruff, WTVA 9 News. The family explained that to Ukrainians the war didn't start when Russia invaded, but instead started eight years ago when Russia annexed Crimea. They said that Ukrainians are prepared to fight and die for their country because they don't want to be a part of Russia. If you would like to donate, you can find a link at WTVA.com.